Creating a graphical user interface is a good way to simulate the behavior of your machine learning model into production. But this step usually is expensive because we have to hire someone with the skills of building those interfaces. In this video, I'm going to explain you how you can build your own in few minutes for free. Are you ready? Let's get started. So the first step is to build the machine learning model. And during this process, there are a couple of steps that we have to go through. The first one is exploratory data analysis to understand our data. And the second step is pre-processing the data. And finally, build the machine learning model. Let's start with um, the exploratory data analysis. First of all, we have to load the data set. And this starts with importing the Pandas library, which is mainly used by data scientists to load the data sets. And I have a data called spam data sets. This data contains information about different types of messages. And the goal of this problem is to predict if a given message is a spam or not a spam. Let's load the data set. After loading the data sets, with the head function, we can can see the first five rows and we can also observe that we have the first two columns that seems to be relevant and the remaining column do not provide any significant information the first column is v1 and the second column is v2 v1 being the targets of the message and v2 is the actual message that we're trying to um, analyze what you're going to do is to focus on this first two columns to do that we select v1 and v2 as a list and let's show the new data sets now we have only two columns v1 and v2 however like v1 and v2 might not be kind of intuitive to understand we're going to replace the v1 as target and v2 as the text and this is done using the rename function and one more time we have the target v1 became the target and v2 became the text and since this is a binary classification problem we're going to replace the ham ham means there is the message is not a spam and spam as the name suggests is a message that is classified as spam and we're going to encode those two values zero is going to be ham and spam is going to be one then one more time show the head of a data set and we can see that the target columns we have zero and ones to represent spam and hum by looking at this first observation in the data set we can see we have some dots comma and we're going to remove those information to make our data set as clean as possible this step is called pre-processing also we're going to remove all the information like in and l a e and so on this information do not provide any additional value to understanding the message in the data pre-processing there are a couple of libraries that we're going to import re is the module used to perform tasks related to regular expressions and ltk which is natural language toolkit to use some existing modules such as stop words that we're going to remove from the data and this is where we download on the stop word from nltk first we import the nltk library and then we have to download the underlying stop words so that we can use them and finally we import the stop words let's run this all right there are five main pre-processing tasks that we're going to perform the first one is to remove the punctuations and then we're going to convert everything to lowercase using the lower function and the third step is to remove the stop word stop word add expression like a uh, the is and so on the fourth step is to remove the numbers that we have in the text and finally remove all the information less than two letters let's print one more time this information to see how things have been done all right these are the basic um, text pre-processing steps that we can perform on this level okay now that we have performed um, the data pre-processing the next step is to build the actual machine learning models and we will need um, for simplicity's sake build only two models and compare their performance and at the end we'll select the one with the highest performance we start by importing the modules the count vectorizer 
and train text split to split with data set into training and testing data set and also we'll need the logistic regression support vector machine and also some metrics like accuracy precision score recalled in f1 score these are the metrics that will be used to evaluate the performance of those models first of all we use x to represent the text data and y to represent the target data and instantiate a random states to ensure the reproducibility of the model's training and performances. And the T size is the test size of the test data set, which is going to be only 20% of the overall data and the training data is going to be the remaining 80%. We start by instantiating the count vectorizer, which is the embedding method that we'll be using. Then we use X to transform the X and now we split the data into training and test data. And we stratify, the goal of stratify is to make sure that the Y target is evenly distributed across the training and testing data. Okay, so let's build the first model, which is the logistic regression model. First, we instantiate the logistic regression model, which is the LR model. Then we fit the model on the training data set and finally make the prediction on the test data after the training. So these are usually the main three steps that we perform when training any machine learning model. First, instantiate the model that we're going to have, second, train the model, and finally make the prediction on the test data to see how well the model is going to do. Okay, we have done this training and then we can print different metrics to see the performance of the model. So as you can see here, the logistic regression's accuracy is 97% with a precision of a 98, a recall score of 80, almost 86, and F1 score of 91. This is a pretty good uh, model, but let's see how the second model is going to do compared to this first model. Similarly to logistic regression, we're going to use super vector machine. So instantiate the model, fit the model on the training data set, make the prediction on the test data. Let's just show the performance metrics. The model for support vector machine seems to be better than the logistic regression. At each level, the accuracy is higher. The precision is quite the same, almost the same. The recall is 87, where we have 85 for logistic regression. And F1 score is 92 compared to logistic regression, which is 91. We can conclude that the best model is the support vector machine, which is going to be used for further analysis. We have the best model and in real life, we might want to use this model to make our predictions on real life data. But what we can do is to serialize the model and this is done using the job lab module. First of all, we create a file name called svmbestmodel.joblib and a folder that is going to hold the model. And the third step, which is the most important step, is to call the joblib module that dump function. The dump function takes two main parameters. The first parameter is the model that we want to serialize. And the second parameter is the name of the file that we want to give the model. And running this is going to create the SVM best model dot lead in the models folder. Now we have serialized the model. To be able to use this model, we have to load on the file from the disk. And this is done using the jobly.load function. And what we do is to open the file that we have created and specify the modes of opening this file, which is the read binary attribute. Let's create a function that is going to perform the prediction. So this function is going to take an input text that is provided by the user. The first step is to pre-process that data meaning that we have to transform that input data into the required format that is going to be used by the model. 
and then we use the loaded model to make the prediction and the final prediction is the information that we're going to render to the user and we start by um, initializing that information with an empty string and this prediction returns a list of a single value and that single value is the value of the target. If that target is zero, it means that the message is not a spam. This way we put this green checked. Otherwise the um, information is a spam and we create a final information which is going to concatenate this message is a and between the bracket here is going to be the placeholder for this information. And we return this final information. And let's create an example here. Let's say that we have this text example. Thank you for your message. You have won $100 billion. Send your bank information is up. The model predicts that this message is a spam, which makes sense. And we can see that the model made the correct prediction. This is good, but what if we can have it in a graphical interface, which is even convenient when we are in a real world. And this is going to be the next step. We have the model now. We are going to create the graphical interface for the model. The framework that we'll be using is called Gradio. Gradio is used to build and share delightful machine learning applications. So you can quickly develop um, a user interface using less than five lines of code. First of all, we have to install Gradio using the pip install instruction. I have already installed it, so there is no need to run this code again. And after installing Gradio, now we can import Gradio as GR. And then there is this section that I'll be using headline is going to be the headline of my application. And Gradio takes a couple of parameters. The FN is the function that we'll be using. In our section is going to be the make prediction function, which returns the prediction of um, the value provided by the user in the inputs in our scenario it's a text information like this one and the output also is going to be a text the title is this headline let's remove first on this chair to see what we're going to have and run so as you can see here we have the graphical interface for the application the spam detector app is this headline the input section is this one and the output is going to be the results of the model prediction let's take the same text and see what the result is going to be so i take this text and paste here and submit we can see the message this message is a spam and you can clear select this button to clear and type another one but i'm going to just provide the same and submit and as you can see here we have also an url which is a local host by clicking this local host you're going to access the exact same application just put the same text and submit what if you want to share this application with your friends living in other countries or you know living somewhere else this is where you can use the share attribute equals true by putting share attribute equals true you're going to have access not only to the local host but also access to a public URL which is going to be available for 72 hours so you can share this link with whoever and this person is going to be able to use your application good so you were able to create um, a machine learning model and also a graphical user interface if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share subscribe um, see you next time for a new video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.